Hi, this is Anupam. Let's understand business. In this present session, I shall be throwing light on learning, an important psychological factor in consumer behavior. Consumer behavior and learning? Well, consumer behavior is largely a learned behavior. Marketers must teach consumers where to buy, how to use, how to maintain and how to dispose of products. Learning refers to any change in the content or organization of long term memory and or behavior. That is, learning is the set of changes in an individual's behavior arising from experience. It is a process by which individuals acquire the purchase and consumption knowledge and experience that they apply to future related behavior. As marketers, we must remember that the strength of learning is influenced by various factors. First and foremost, it is importance. The more importance we give to a thing, the easier it is to learn. Remember the exam times when you could remember and commit to the heart almost anything on the night before. It was because at that time learning difficult concepts was of prime importance to you. Secondly, we have involvement. Do you realize why our school had science labs or why was it that your mathematics teacher used to stress on practicing? Well, it was to keep you involved and to enhance your learning capabilities. Thirdly, we have mood. It refers to the frame of mind where sometimes you are more receptive to learning than at other times. Similarly, we have reinforcement. Stimulus repetition. The more an idea gets reinforced from different sources, the more likely that you learn it. Similarly, the more each stimulus gets repeated, the more likely it is that you remember and learn about that idea. Finally, we have imagery. It is said that pictures have 30 times more impact on our mind than written words. It is due to the fact that imagery gets imprinted onto our mind as a result of image. Learning process can be intentional where learning is acquired as a result of careful search for information or it could be incidental where learning is acquired by accident or without much effort. For example, when you are to buy your new bike, you would take pains to learn about all the possible variants in the market. This is intentional learning. In contrast, as you are browsing through the newspaper, you learn about a new shop that may have come up in the vicinity. This is incidental. But when it comes to the actual theories of learning, there are the behavioral theories, which are based on the premise that learning takes place as a result of observable responses to external stimuli. And the cognitive theories, where it is understood that learning is based on mental information processing. That is, learning is often in response to certain problem solving. Coming back to the behavioral theories, these are based on observable behaviors or responses that occur as a result of exposure to stimuli. For example, while we are driving on the road and we hear a police or ambulance siren, we tend to give such vehicles the right to way. This is a behavior that we have learned on being exposed to the stimuli of a police or ambulance siren. These theories are also known as stimulus response theories. 
let us have a look at the applications of learning. The theories and processes of learning is put to use in consumer behavior when kids learn to go to a particular store to buy the daily stuff, when children learn about new sweets through advertisements on television, when teenagers learn about the latest fashion trends through friends and magazines, when people learn about a new property on the block or a new shopping mall through a roadside hoarding or when we learn to recycle waste. Finally, coming to the measures of consumer learning. Once organizations have made their consumers to learn, they would like to measure the level of learning. Consumer learning may be measured through recognition and recall measures, where consumers are put to recognize and recall the brands. This recall may be an aided recall or an unaided recall. Another measure could be the cognitive responses to advertising, where organizations would like to understand the effect an advertisement had on their consumers. Thirdly, they could use the attitudinal and behavioral measures of brand loyalty. This is about consumer behavior and learning. For books and other references, you may look through the following selected bibliography. For further details or comments, you may contact me at anupamkr a n u p a m k r at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.